Johns Hopkins University undergrads have developed a way to combat world hunger with a project called Vita Yeast Bread. They have entered their project in an international competition called iGEM. The Vita Yeast project is to develop a yeast strain that synthesizes essential nutrients, nutrients that the body can't produce. What people don't have now is the food that they need to survive. You know, vital nutrients like vitamins um, are just missing from their diets because they can't afford fruits and vegetables. One of the really great things about iGEM teams in general which are, which are mostly made up of undergraduates, is that those students, frankly, will not believe that something is impossible. We're not genetically modifying the wheat here. We're not genetically modifying the flour or the water. We're genetically modifying 1% like of the bread recipe. And when you bake Vita bread, you can look at it, it looks like normal bread. We wanted to kind of simulate a process that a regular person might go through to bake bread. You know, you buy a bread machine off of Amazon for $50, you go on the internet, find a recipe. The only thing that's different about the recipe is that we substituted our vitamin A yeast for the normal dry packaged yeast. The students have created a method to enhance yeast so that it adds vitamin A to bread. What we've done is we've taken DNA that we've made synthetically and we put that into a little ring of DNA called a plasmid. We shoot it into the yeast cell and that ring integrates with the genes that are already in yeast. So we're adding new genes to the yeast genome and they take input A and make it into B. The next one takes B, makes it into C, and you go down this pathway until you have your final product, which is this uh, orange beta carotene. The Vita Yeast Project gave students a chance to tackle real-world problems in the laboratory. What's really different about Hopkins is the laboratory accessibility. Freshmen get into labs all the time. Freshmen get into two labs if they want. The professors are very accepting, and they're great hosts to have you in their lab and even get on their publications. I have found that, that Hopkins undergraduates will go out of their way to try to get some kind of meaningful research experience. And you can go into labs and be like, I want to work on this. I'm really interested in applying what I learned in class to the laboratory. It's, it's one thing to just be taken into a lab, but to actually be trained and to the level that you are at Hopkins is just, it blows your mind, you know? I mean, it's amazing. Through research opportunities like iGEM, Johns Hopkins students are encouraged to take on major challenges. iGEM really was a great example of the Hopkins model, in, as I call it, which is to give undergrad students big responsibilities and allow them to work for it. We're going after hunger and malnutrition. We're going after infant mortality. We're going after sustainability. A lot of things getting done with this one little project. How do I get the idea in my mind that I want to change the world? I would ask, how can you not have the idea that you want to change the world?